My name is uh, Anthony Njeroge Jenga. I'm the managing director of TMX Express Services. We are a courier company. We've been in the industry for the last uh, 14 to 15 years. And uh, we have seen all the mistakes in the industry. And um, we have developed a product called TMX Global, which is running on blockchain technology. And what are we, why are we doing that? Because we realize there are challenges in the industry. One, there's a lot of fraud in our industry. Two, there's a lot of uh, delay in products. Three, the customer doesn't even know, have information about their products and how the costings that will, they, will in, in, the, the, they will incur when they're importing any products. Four, uh, the, the clearing and forwarding agent does not give the customer enough information for them to make an informed decision. So based on that, we have seen an opportunity to be able to make it easy for the customer. What are we going to do? We are going to have a global, uh, global uh, courier service that is going to be around the world. Any product, any customer, we can pick their goods anywhere in the world using our product, using our services, and be brought to any part of the world. But they'll have one, information about how much duty or VAT they need to pay, what are the conditions of that country in that globe, and what are the timelines they'll take, and how much will it cost them to bring the product to their doorstep. That would not have been possible without uh, blockchain technology. The other thing that we're going to do is that we have a smart contract. The contract will be able to speak to the customer. If you're importing any goods, it will tell you, have you imported the goods? Yes. Do you have an invoice? Yes. If you don't have, have you done certificate of conformity? If it says no, then you go back again and make sure that happens. Do you have a proper shipping line? Yes. Is it going to come to which country? What are the requirements in that country? If, for example, it's coming to Kenya, you need a certificate of conformity. You need to have been able to, to, um, to have an import declaration form. You must have an agent who's going to be able to help you do that. And you'll, this is the amount of duty you'll pay. When that information is given to the customer, the customer can be able to make an informed decision. And when he makes an informed decision, even before he ships any goods, he knows how much it's going to cost them to, the, to his doorstep. Once that happens, the customer will know his cost too. He'll be able to make more money because he knows what is, to like, what, what is expected of him. And obviously, he'll make more profit. What does it mean for the end user? that the customer is able to give the end user a good product. What will happen to our, our economy? Because of moving goods all over the world, we say there's about $4 trillion is moved every year globally. If that part of the stake is be able to be done effectively, then you'll reduce the cost of movement of goods all over the world. And that's what we're planning to do. We're setting up a, 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 a global freight forwarders association, which will plug into our system. What the freight forwarders do, they'll become our trusted agents in any country in the world, that you can be able to pick and inform the customer of the things they need to know. They'll also know the tariffs in that country, because every country has a different tariff. Every country has different expectations. Hence, uh, we'll put all those in, that information in the, in the smart contract. Three, the tariffs, the HS code will be in our system, such that when a customer presses, says, I want to import uh, copper, it can tell you how much it is for copper, what's the duty, what is the expectation, and what are the things that the, the, the government of that country would expect of you to have done. With that, then we make it seamless and effective for movement of goods all over the world. We say 80% of the goods that are moved all over the world move through the ship. So that's a market we want to tap into. And that will be made because we'll be using Ethereum smart contract. So our, 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 our DAB, our, our DAB will, be, will be running on Ethereum smart contract. And that's what we want to do to achieve more in our industry. How will it work? One, any person who has a coin, whether it's a customer who wants to buy, you use our coins to buy online. If it's a freight forwarder, if you want to pay for clearing and forwarding, you use our coins to pay for clearing and forwarding. If you want to ship anything to maybe to Kenya or to Uganda or US, you use our coins to, to, to ship because we'll have an exchange. For if you want use transport, local transport, you use our coins. So you'll have an ecosystem where everything uses TMX coin. How do we do that? Once we're able to raise the 50 million coins on our space, every customer, whether it's a customer, he'll be part of our ecosystem. Clearing forwarding companies will be part of our ecosystem. The suppliers will be part of our ecosystem. The transporters will be part of our ecosystem. And, um, and also the, the warehouse guys, like probably Mitchell Coast, all the people who do warehouses will be part of our eco ecosystem. So that means from door to door, you can be able to ship your goods using our coins. If you want to pay something that's coming from Turkey, what do you do? You send our coins to the customer in Turkey, to a supplier in Turkey. He takes the goods. When the goods are ready, 
uh, SGS will, will do the certificate of conformity, then our freight forwarder will pick those goods and take them to, take them to, to, the, to the shipping line. And once it do that, then the shipment comes all the way to whichever country, then it's put on the warehouse. And it's put on the warehouse, what happens? The, the clearing agent will start doing the documentation. Remember, all the documentation have already been done. How does it work? When the customer raises an invoice, it's, it's, it's on a smart contract. When they raise the bill of lending, it's on a smart contract, so they cannot erase. When it's, you are doing the IDF and all those other documentations, all on a smart contract, such that that blockchain, when it comes here, the KRA can be able to confirm all the documentation. Nobody can change. What it will do, it will reduce our cost of movement by about 14%, which is very, you can imagine 14% of 14 trillion. That will be a, a serious saving, and that's what we want to do to be able to move the things up, up. So what do we expect from you? Buy a TMX coin, because when you buy the coin, what are you doing? You're supporting our system, because developing that DAB is very expensive. So we need to raise money through crowdfunding. And when you do that, then we'll take the, our, our, our coin to the coin market. Yeah, either, either, either Binance or whichever coin market. And then we'll be able now to be able to sell to you, to, to customers. And that, of course, will be left to the supply and demand. But we've already made a lot of progress. One, we've already done an, uh, a dab for the Freight Forwarders Association. The next dab we are doing, we are doing a local dab that will be used locally. We are calling it hyper-local. What it means is that any trans trucks that can move, will be moving on our ecosystem. We love the information of the truck owner. We have, we have checked the, his background, whether he's an honest, honest person. And then we have checked that the, the, the truck is, is, is good and uh, fit for the road and that he'll not overload. Hence, that means that to be able to move stuff. That's already done. So our next phase is to de develop the, the global uh, platform where all the smart contracts will be on, on, the, on, on, the, on the software that it can answer. One, do you have an invoice? You say yes, that's fine. Two, do you have an IDF? Yes, no. If you don't have an IDF, it tells you apply for an IDF. Three, have the goods been conformed by SGS? If no, start again. If yes, move to the next step. Four, has the goods been shipped to, buy, to the shipping line? Yes. Do you have a bill of landing? If you don't have a bill of landing, first get a bill of landing before you ship. Five, has the, has the, has the information been able to go, to go to government? Yes, no. If it has not, then start again. So that's a process. So everything that you do will be on the, on the on integrated system that anything you need to establish or find will be there. That way it becomes very easy. When a customer is shipping, and if you before they ship, They'll know all the costings, all the requirements, what are the duties, what are the VAT, what is the, what, what is the HS code, and then they'll know the costing. That becomes easy for them, and they'll reduce the cost of shipment. That is what we want to do to achieve this. So, but we need to go through the ICO process to be able to raise money to do that. Currently, the angel, the cost of the ICO is two shillings. That is $0.02. Then after that, $0.5. And uh, after that, we'll leave it to the, to the supply and demand in the coin market. But that's what we want to do to be able to develop the ecosystem. It will take us maybe 9 to 12 months for us to be able to achieve that, but the DAB will be ready by uh, July next year.